Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Vlogs and Adventures. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible today, guys, because we are a little bit sick at the moment. And, uh, you know, the more we talk, the more it hurts. Uh, and I'm talking about the back of the nose, as I did say in the live stream we did on Sunday. It's just everything in the, like, nostrils and back is just hurting like heck. So the more, less we can talk, the better. And uh, we just finished work, so we are absolutely knackered, guys absolutely knackered so i'm going to try and keep today's video a little bit shorter than usual uh, i might have to do it over a couple of days maybe i'm not sure but at this point at this point it's potentially going to be hard to keep my eyes open on the road so we'll uh first step is really try and get home and make sure that we get there safely so we'll um see how we go with that so without further ado guys Let's go. Alright, so we uh, decided to stop there halfway home, guys. We decided to go grab ourselves a cup of coffee from our uh, freeway in the cafe before we got any further. We started sort of uh, getting really tired and struggling to sort of uh, keep motivated to keep driving. <sighs> I should have stayed at home today, guys. I should have stayed at home. Uh, this virus, or whatever it is, is kicking the absolute crap all around me, guys. When we went out on uh, Monday, when we did that video at the cemetery, didn't really feel too bad uh, on that day, but now, now it's just, yeah, it's getting worse. So, I'm going to see how we feel tomorrow morning, and if we're worse off than what we are now, then I'm not going to have, I'm going to, have to call in sick for tomorrow. I don't like having time off, but it, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. For prime example, I'm hoping to stop to have a cup of coffee just to keep myself awake for a little bit. So, we should have another bloody 20 minutes or so to get home. So, hopefully we can make it home safely, hey guys? <laughs> guys but uh the very next day got home and just conked out still not feeling 100 percent at the moment but uh, at the moment we're just doing little bits and pieces around the house just to just sort of help out ended up buying some bird seed for the boy because he uh he's on his last feed at the moment so i fill out these little feed tin. I usually use these for so that once the egg box is open it's just anything can get into it so just doing little bits and pieces that doesn't require too much energy so what is on me at the back which is a good thing so I just need to sort of just rest up a little bit guys because I'm still a bit <clears throat> very phlegmy in the chest very coffee and all that sort of stuff Ugh. I hate this cold, guys. It's kicking the shit out of me. Oh, I don't even know if it's a cold. It could be a virus. I don't know. I do not have a clue. On the road again. Can't believe that we're on the road again. We're uh, heading down to the ducks now, guys. As I was uh, doing the bloody washing, I started breaking it into a bit of a sweat. Couldn't bloody believe it, guys. So, it's weird. I get hot flushes, cold flushes, you name it. Get them all. <laughs> Two days because of because uh, of good old sickness. So well, that basically where we've been is home the last two days. It is Friday. It is the very next day from the last clip that you guys would have seen. So 
you know, there hasn't really been much that I can do. Currently go outside because it's cold, and I've obviously got something wrong with my chest at the moment, as you guys know. Something wrong with my na nasal cavity and chest. And it feels like someone's just been sitting here going bang, bang, bang on my chest. Not the actual physical pounding on the chest, but the after effect of that, having like the tight chest. So, I haven't been doing much today, I've just been moping around, so I might uh, start, start concluding this video soon. So, uh, it's been I'm sort of all over the place at the moment, so <laughs> I thought I'd do something by, for the end of the week for you guys because uh, I want to try and upload weekly if I can. So, I thought I'd do something for the last couple of days of the week. So, I was just going to mope around the house for a little bit and uh, see what we're going to get up to. I don't want to do this. There is one thing that I can do though. Now that is what I like guys, when it just disappears like that. I love it when it works like that guys. Don't have to worry about too much stress of hanging things up. There is another pile over here. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 Dang, that's cool. I love it when I don't have to do that. That's cool now. Now I can sit down for about an hour or two. I'm going to go to the doctor's about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Oh wow. It's already one. So I've got an hour to go. So I'll leave here about 1.30 I reckon. Get down there pretty early. I don't like getting to the doctor's late or any other thing late. So we'll leave here about 1.30. Next half hour. Alright, so I just got to the doctor's. Not due to go in for another 20 odd minutes, so I'm just gonna sit put in the car for a little bit because it's nice and warm to a point. It's not overly warm, but it's warm enough to uh keep the chills away and it's also warm enough to sort of uh, get the sweats to come in <laughs> so if I get too hot I sweat if I get too cold I get chills so there's no happy medium that I can find just yet and I haven't even got the uh, heating on too bad as you guys can see probably should have it sitting about there maybe got it shooting to the feet and vents here so it shouldn't be overly too bad, but it did sort of make me sweat a little bit coming here, so I think my body temperature has gone up a little bit, but we'll see as soon as we get inside, see what they say, if the temperature's gone up or not. They, uh, they'll you know, give us a good sort of check over, see how we're feeling, Ch um, whatever. <laughs> I can't even bloody speak properly, guys. Uh, I'll tell you how it goes. Blooper wheel. Well, um, yeah, as I said, trying to say, guys, I'll tell you guys how I go inside. There we go, finally got it out. So, just finished up at the, uh, finished up at the doctor's. I couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. Uh, temperatures, uh, seems to be alright, 36.8, I think she said it was. That's degrees Celsius. And as I got back to the car, I saw her something quite, uh, quite unique. This brand is one of my favourites. A bloody Ford Raptor. And I'm talking about that thing is one of the proper, proper Raptors too. It's not your Ford Ranger Raptor, it's one of the F-150 Raptor. Big business in the front end of those things. It's one of my ultimate favourite cars is one of those. Second favourite car is the Ford RS. That's right guys. I drive the Focus, which is like the baby brother of the RS. So, yeah. So I'm just going to head off home, get some fuel on the way through. Even though we don't really need to, I just like to uh, make sure that there is some fuel in the car. So I'm going to go and grab some gas before we go. Alright, just going to do a quick stop up at the shops. Try to get some Maccas for lunch, but uh, the guys didn't serve me, so bugger them. I'm going to go elsewhere to grab something to eat, so I might as well come to local, local IGA shop to grab something small. Alright, we just got, just got back from uh, grabbing lunch. It's 
it's not the healthiest thing that you'll see guys will see me eat <laughs> but what we got is a couple of tater cakes and a couple of those um, spicy chicken chicken strips as I said it's not the most healthiest food that you'll see me eat but I'm too lazy to get anything else to to go so that was the quickest option so luckily enough there was a bakery just next door to the main entrance to the to the shop so we decided to go there just quickly grab something quick to eat and then head off home so that food that we had just before wasn't the greatest food we've had guys it uh, hurt the throat more than it uh, meant going down so that was a little lesson to not have food like that again Hey, uh, the boys out there just having a good old time as he always does. He's pretty happy at the moment, so that's always good. It's 9 o'clock at night, as you guys can see it is pretty dark outside at the moment. It's time for me to go to bed because I'm absolutely stuffed. Uh, this cold or whatever it is, virus, whatever it may be, it's absolutely kicking my backside at the moment. So I'm going to hit the hay. This video is not over just yet, this uh, day 2 finished, we're about to go into day 3. So uh, it's just, I didn't really have much of the energy to get up and go and do much over the last couple of days, so um, that's what this vlog is all about, so the last couple of days of, uh, you know, sort of recovering and all that sort of stuff, so as I said, I'm about to go to bed, so I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. Well, I'll do a little thought process, finally found something to do, guys. Started to get the 44 gallon drum hot and shining. Can't really see the redness, but I can guarantee you right now, guys, right, right in there is going to be all red. I'm going to show you guys something just quickly. Look at the colour of that nail, guys. It's like a fluorescent green. And we're about, we're going to be about four foot, five foot away from that. And that is throwing a massive amount of heat. So. Oh, it's good to find something to do. I have to say with the biggest problem about this barrel guys is that uh, as you guys can see pukes and you know, all the stuff from the inside of the barrel it's right there you can see it's still ruddy hot so that is the biggest downfall about that barrel but don't get me wrong it does chew through the wood pretty quick and Throws a lot of heat. That's what I was trying to think of. I couldn't think of it for a second there, guys. Bit of a brain fart. But uh, I'm probably about seven foot away from it now. And it's still throwing quite an awesome amount of heat from where I'm standing. So not only that, it helps with the breeze coming through as well. So I'm gonna spend a couple more hours out here enjoying this. <laughs> So, I'm not really putting that through the big barrel. What I'm doing with all this is putting it through that one. Because that one is just to get rid of all the big pieces like that. And all the old decking down there as you guys can see. That's mainly the reason why we've got that one going. So that's uh, it's good, uh, good little fun to come out here and have a bit of a burn off, you know. It's relaxing.
guys, we're going to start concluding today's video or today's vlog. Mind you, I have done it over a couple of days, so that's why it's a bit uh, mismatched because I've been sick and all. So we're uh, going to let the fire burn down. As you guys can see, it's sort of dying down a little bit, but um, there's still a bit of firewood left in that barrel. But as I said, we're just going to let that burn down. We're not going to worry about burning the rest of this stuff because uh, that'll probably be a tomorrow's job or next weekend. Maybe we'll get it done then because <clears throat> we need to get inside and stay warm guys because we're starting to get a bit uh, chilled to the bone if you know what I mean Don't get me wrong. It is nice nice against that uh, that barrel, but <clears throat> With the cold breeze going through every now and then it's just starting to get a bit hard guys, so I'm gonna conclude to conclude this vlog and call it a day so Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for being here and I hope everyone is having a great weekend so far, because we certainly are. Till the next time guys, keep it easy.